Hey, what's going on Travis Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, um, I don't know, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of crazy talk and some life lessons um, that I've experienced on my journey. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go with it. Um, so the first topic I'm going to cover is um, don't compare your journey um, to anyone else's journey because your journey is unique to you and everyone else's other people's journey is unique to them so sitting back thinking um like growing up um yeah things could have been a lot different yeah i could have took <laughs> i could have went down some roads um and made some choices that could have what's the word could have changed my life should I say um, some for the better some for the worst but um, when I saw certain was it not certain people should I say but um, yeah doing certain things growing up um, what's the word yeah doing having to do certain things growing up to kind of um, get by should I say yeah um, not all of them were good decisions but um, when you're uh, I'm gonna say it's comparing or being envious but um, you know because I'm not a materialistic person um, so sometimes I can look at someone and say oh yeah that's a nice car um, I would like to have that car but I don't want a car do you know what I'm saying so it's not an, in an envious way it's all right to not I wouldn't say envious you can be I'd say, um, what's the word? You know, some people, you can just be happy that someone else has got it, if that makes sense. Because me personally, like when I see people that's, like my bridging's got cars and stuff, um, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a nice car. Um, that's good, that's, like, that's cool. Like, I'm happy that you got a car and shit, but I don't want a car because car comes with more stress and problems than that. And that's something that I don't want, innit? Um, so it's not being, envious should I say because um, you can you can get people that will oh yeah you got a nice car and then they'll be hating on you because you got a nice car and that it's none of that at all because I'm not a materialistic person anyway and um, yeah it's just about being happy um, for other people should I say um, because like yeah everyone's kind of path is different in it so um, certain things certain things like listen if I wanted like, a lot of things I could have them in it but um, certain you have to make certain choices um, that go with them certain things personally yeah just go with it yeah <laughs> if you know what I'm, if you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying in it like I could add a, a lot of things in it but um, doing certain things to get what I want wanted um, it, it, it's gonna cost you more than um, it's going to cost you your soul, should I say. So, yeah, to me, that's not worth it, innit? If you know what I'm talking about, um, certain things, innit? Um, so, yeah, it's not... not um, what's the word? So, yeah, you can um, always be kind of grateful for your journey. And... Um, because, yeah, your journey is unique to you. Um, obviously, if you want certain things, yeah, you've got to go get them. But... Um, like karma is a very real thing. I think karma was my second tattoo that I got. So <clears throat> whatever you're doing, yeah, um, it's gonna come back to you somewhere down the line. Yeah, um, so if you're doing certain things to get certain material things, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say, yeah, just go with it, yeah. So if you're doing certain things to get certain material things, um, yeah, it's gonna cost you your soul, isn't it? So um, there's certain, <laughs> certain money feels bad in it that's what I'm saying when you hold money and money is generated through certain avenues certain money feels bad and it, you can feel it on your soul on a soul level if you're in tune anyway because I can feel it on the soul level in it so by doing certain things um, it's going to cost you a lot more than diamonds and gold it's going to cost you your soul yeah um, so yeah I was just sitting back kind of reminiscing earlier 
um, about oh yeah, like um, when I like yeah before I was conscious, um, doing certain things and um, yeah my what's the word my view on life was very different in it. So um, doing certain things, I didn't really care about other people. It was just what I wanted. Um, but now it's like yeah that car's good. Man likes the cars. Well, like, not likes the cars, I'm not really a materialistic person, like I was saying before. But, um, yeah, there's certain, like, fast money comes with consequences, innit? And they cost you a lot more than um, just going to jail, innit? Like, if you're fucking up someone else's life from you coming up, um, yeah, somewhere down the line, you're going to feel it. Or someone close to you is going to feel it. And that's like karma being shared to a certain degree. We just call it that, innit? Um, because karma will come... Listen, you can't avoid karma. Um, um, and karma is very real. Um, so, yeah, just be mindful of that. So, yeah, I was just sitting back reminiscing, thinking, oh, yeah, man. Like, when I used to do certain things, um, it's like, yeah, cool. Like, having certain things... I'm not going to go into too much detail. But having certain things, I was like, yeah, it's cool, man. Like, yeah, minor. But then when man's looking back at it now, it's like, nah, it's not a minor. <laughs> if you're destroying someone else, like, don't get me wrong. Some people, you have to eat in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, yeah. Some, yeah, you have to eat in it. Whether it's Ill illegal or legal. Like, you have to eat in it. But if you make the decision to eat, eating comes with consequences in it. That's what I'm saying. So, like Biggie said, more money, more problems. And that is our true, true stories, yeah? Um, because, yeah, the more money you get, the more problems it, you, it comes with that. Um, so, yeah, I was just sitting back reminiscing and thinking, oh, yeah, like the um, having fast money and money to blow and shit like that. It's cool. It's cool. And I was sitting back reminiscing earlier. I was like, oh, yeah, you know what? And I'm like, no, nah, it's not worth it. Going back to my old ways and shit, it's like, yeah, no, nah, it's not worth it, man. Even though the system's fucked as it is, but yeah, it's not worth it. Um, when you become conscious, more conscious, you know that what you put in, you get out, yeah? So if you're doing bad, it's going to come back threefold, yeah? Just to let you guys know. Um, so yeah, being mindful of that. And um, yeah, just being grateful for, for my journey because um, yeah, things could have been a lot, a lot different, man. Um, yeah, a lot different, man. Yeah, things could have been a lot different. So yeah, I've got to give thanks to the Most High and all that. Um, because yeah, not all, like, everyone's got past, in it? Um, but it's about, you can't undo the past and you can't let the past define who you are. But it's about making the right choices going forward, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that was one part. And then another part is um, through struggle. Um, you, gr <laughs> you can either choose to be a victim or you can choose to be a victor. So with whatever struggles you're going through or that you've been through, whether you're codependent, whether you've got alcohol, drug problems, whether um, you've got certain financial problems and stuff, um, there are, there's always a way around it, yeah? There's, there's always ways around things. But um, you can either choose to grow from it, your experience, or you can just sit in it and basically kind of somewhat rot in it, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, oh, poor me, poor me, poor me, and not making any steps forward. Or you can say, all right, cool, this happened to me, this is happening, um, yeah, I'm gonna take steps steps forward to um, to change them certain things um, and the sun starts beaming on man when I start putting out the messages um, so yeah without well it's my tattoo in it on my hand without struggle there's no progress and we all got to go through some struggles to get where we are um, whether you want to be high up in your job where, whether you want to be um, yeah whether you want to be like where, whatever you want to put your energy it's going to grow in it um but yeah you grow through the struggles you grow through the struggles and you want to um you want to make your past 
make you better, not bitter, yeah? Because a lot of people go through shitty experiences and then they think, oh, everyone is like this. Like, I'm going to use girls as an example. Um, they have one fucking shitty relationship and then they say all men ain't shit. Well, no, it's not really all men ain't shit. It's the guys that you're going for ain't shit. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, so. And it happens with guys as well, but I'm using girls as an example. Um, and yeah, so yeah, we grow, grow through the struggles. Um, yeah, sometimes, and it's all a part of growth as well. So the struggles that you're in, your soul's already chose for you to go through them struggles for you to learn. It's a part of your soul's evolution to grow and expand. So whether you want to stay in like um, an abusive relationship, there's a choice at the end of the day. Um, and, or if you want to, <laughs> should I say, not even like, um, seek help for your drug or alcohol problem because um, that was a part of my journey, having to seek help for my alcohol problem. Um, yeah, I took that into my own hands to go and seek help for that. Um, Cause some people could just sit there and just drink for 20 years and not deal with their pro problems, their emotional, mental shit, do you know what I'm saying? Um, but the choice is yours. So whether you want to get help or not, in any situation, I'm not just saying alcohol, drugs, um, if you've got mental health, like, yeah, go seek help. Don't, we're not in, like, before, in, like, like um, the, maybe the 80s. It's still a kind of man kind of thing, should I say. Like, men um, tend to not seek help for their mental health um, when it's a big thing. It's like, all right. Um, yeah, so everything that you're currently experiencing is a part of your soul's growth and a part of your soul's evolution. This is why you chose to incarnate on Earth. So everything that you're experiencing was already, it's like, um, it's somewhat fate, should I say. Like your soul's already planned it out and you're just walking the path, should I say. Um, so yeah, there's that. And um, yeah, they're the two to topics and then I'm just gonna cover this other one, um, which I find quite funny. Um, so I was just sitting back thinking, I was watching some stuff on YouTube yesterday. Um, it's talking about like basically the system in it. Um, well, <coughs> the system is very funny because, we're, like I was saying, we keep, what I keep saying is we're, wait, we're playing a waiting game for the masses because um, from the system, um, that's why I'm trying to um, fund smaller businesses because you've got big businesses, Walmart, Sainsbury's, Tesco's. Um, Listen, they're multi-million dollar companies, yeah? But yeah, they're putting the price up for everything. So they're making like 400 profit of everything, yeah? Um, at this current time. And everything's going up, everything's going up. And <laughs> the masses are kind of just paying for it, paying for it, paying for it. And it's like, like it's a game. It's all a game, yeah? It's the Matrix, yeah? It's the game. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing the Matrix shirt as well. Let's check it. <laughs> but, yeah, it's all a game. So, there's a small amount of people that are... Okay, let me just put it this way. The many outnumber the few. So, once the many um, stop playing the game, the game is over. So, if you're going to keep wanting to pay for certain things, taxes going up, price of living's going up, but your wages are staying the same and shit, you're kind of, you're keeping the system running by entertaining it. So it's about withdrawing and um, not entertaining it as much. Now like we still, there's still laws and certain laws we have to abide by, like universal law and shit, like the, in a game, like some um, rules can be bent and some can be broken, as Morpheus says. And that's a true fact, man. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the more you're, you're playing into the Matrix, the more that the Matrix is running. Um, so this is why a lot of people are starting to um, grow their own food um, with bits of land and stuff. Like, I've, like, out of my travels, I've been seeing so many people growing their own food, like on their doorsteps and shit. And it's like, right, okay, that's cool. That's where we're going, yeah? Because like, and, and not to mention that the food that they're giving us is shit as well. So if you're growing your own food, 
that's amazing you're disconnecting um you that's um yeah you're not fueling that part of the matrix anymore because um a lot of people the matrix want you reliant on the matrix and you need to be self-reliant because um well from what i've heard when there's a lot going on the poles are shifting and supposedly i don't know if it's going to happen in this lifetime but there's meant to be this great solar flash um and once this flash happens from the sun the grids are going to go down so if you're relying on internet technology um, um and a lot of things that are run by the grid yeah a lot of people are going to be be um quite fucked <laughs> yeah quite fucked um so yeah we just gotta ride it out but um yeah like in yeah once the once the masses decide to wake up and stop playing the game then the game is over like in other countries like i can just i don't know i can just see feel i just feel like there's going to just be like one big protest even though it's protesting all in 2020 but i just feel like um yeah people kind of need to stand up a bit more because if everyone like <laughs> like the masses are keeping the game running yeah so if everyone not well you have some people that oh yeah like all right yeah if you're um self-employed this is different yeah but um if you're just working in like um one of the corporations like tesco's or whatever you're replaceable so you're just a number yeah so if everyone was just to stop going just to stop for a few days the system would just collapse and stop functioning and then the pe the 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 very few would start to panic yeah because you know the the few through the 2020 till now do you know how much money the few has made so they're pressuring the masses to try to keep them in a state of fear while they're making a killing they're making a killing they're making a killing um yeah that, that's what i'm saying you've got to do your own research and stuff um that like i keep promoting yeah you um yeah you've got to do your own research we're in the age of aquarius um and in, information is accessible at the drop of a hat so be using the technology don't let the technology use you should i say but um yeah it was only a little quick crazy chat video just covering certain topics and stuff um yeah about yeah to be grateful for your journey like yeah um and um just because someone else is someone else is in the spotlight now doesn't mean you're like your time isn't coming just sit back and be patient and your time is coming yeah um if, if you ain't got it now doesn't mean you're not gonna have it yeah the universe is abundant and it might be your way of thinking if you're thinking um lack you're gonna create lack in your reality just to let you let you know anyway but um yeah peace love and light tribe and i'm gonna hit you guys up real soon